race beginning, but I have been having a little trouble. It runs and then it quits. So I was checking to see if there's anything strange about the recording that it started. Several years ago, our granddaughter that now lives in uh, Nebraska got Donna, Mrs. Riggs, and me started watching on uh, their set at their home, Survivor on CBS. We liked it. We watched, I believe, with few a few exceptions, every episode since. We've come to really admire and like a number of the people that have appeared as contestants. It's hard to remember, it's just a game. People like Rupert, Yao Man, Ozzy. They just almost like family to us. James, gee whiz. I don't know, maybe a grave digging job is a better job than I suppose, but here's this magnificent, intelligent specimen of humanity that sounds like he doesn't have much of a job in the real world. And hey, is he a fun guy to watch and a tremendous competitor, physically and mentally. Be glad to have him on my team. If I was back in school business, I'd be glad to have him on the faculty. If he was around as a janitor or grave digger equivalent or whatever, I'd sure encourage him to go get the credentials so he could be one of the people that works more directly with the children. Really was pretty disappointed last Thursday night. Cherie, a lady, black lady, charming person, a real competitor on the time that she was on the show before. Very likable person. She did one of my favorites in, Yeah Man. Boy, us old guys have to kind of stick together in Yeah Man. Well, Yeah Man, he's not a big guy, and he's not a spring chicken. He's what the British would call more of a boiling fowl. Great competitor. And Cherie Curie didn't put him off, didn't arrange to have him put off because of anything bad. I think she just thought that there's a guy that if we leave him here, my chance of winning a million dollars, a lot slimmer. Let's get him out while we can. And he was a perfect gentleman about his exit, just what I would expect of the man. Like I say, we almost feel like some of those fellows are like family, that we really do know them and know what kind of characters they are. I guess Survivor got me to thinking life is a matter of survival. It's a survivor course. The goal for most of us is a healthy life. Live as long as possible. As long as life has a good quality, we want to be survivors. Now to some people, the goal is not just to survive, but to be rich. The billion dollar thing really is in their mind all the time. I wouldn't mind being rich, but I think it's one of the saddest things that's going on in our United States of America today in that it's money, 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 greed, greed, greed. The rich get richer and the poor are getting poor. I don't think that's healthy. I don't know what the heck anybody needs with a billion dollars. I don't even know if anybody really needs a million. But a billion and many billions? I think some of you may have seen my earlier report when I saw in the USA Today that I think it was 82 billionaires that we have in the United States alone. Wow! Well, then I got to thinking about the word survivor and politics. I've never really in past years paid much attention to who was going to be the Republican candidate for president or who was going to be the Democrat candidate. But boy, after seeing the mess that the last one's got us into, I'm concerned for our country. I worry about our country. I worry about the future of our country economically. 
morality wise and just about every other way. We've gone the long way in the wrong directions during these past eight years. But here we have in the Republican side a rich Mormon gentleman right now this old mind won't bring that name forth. I don't have any doubt in my mind that he is an excellent businessman and should McCain name him as a vice presidential candidate and use those talents to strengthen the situation as well as strengthening his candidacy and his chance of being elected. You know, he looked at the situation, they put millions of his dollars into it and decided, hey, I'm not going to be the survivor. So he gracefully withdrew, endorsed McCain as the man he feels will be the candidate. Of course, the other survivors in the contest at this point are Huckabee and uh, Ron Paul. I don't think they have any idea that they're going to catch, but well, they can't. They know that. But I think maybe they think they can demonstrate that there's enough support for them that perhaps they will be named as a vice presidential running mate with McCain or put to work in the administration. They're good people. Very good people. On the Democratic side, well, I don't know who's going to be the survivor there. Excuse me, those two are really Obama and Hillary. Hillary and Obama, they're going at it tooth and toenail. And hard to say who will win. As you know, if you follow my videos in general, I would hope that he, either one of them would be smart enough to name the other one as the vice president. And uh, maybe they will, maybe they won't. But boy, one of them will be the survivor. And it'll be more, it looks like maybe, it'll be more like the actual game on the game. Not the real life, but real life may be more like the game on the CBS and that it may be settled in the end by a tribal council, a vote. But the people who get the vote will be those super candidates, super delegates. I'd be, I hope it doesn't come to that. I just hope it doesn't. But that's the way the Democrats have it set up, so it may happen. Well, life, not just in politics, not just in game shows, Life is a game of survivor for not only individuals, but for nations. Anybody that's had any kind of a course in world history knows that societies rise, societies fall. Empires rule, empire, empires go down to defeat and disappear. I just hope that what's been going on under Mr. Bush hasn't set us on a course that we're going to have a demise that we can't stop as a leader of the free world. I want our country to survive as a respected leader, not 100% pure, not that no nation can be, but one that stands basically for what's right and fair and decent and gets with it to use its power carefully, never maliciously, and never to inflate the ego or the heritage of political leaders. Let's survive as a country. Let's rise above these eight years.